A CO2 capture plant is typified by the presence of two columns, a stripper column and also an absorber column, we can see here on my left. Ours are 12 metres tall, about the height of three London double-decker buses. Here we are on the ground floor of the plant. And just over here on my left is where we mix the CO2 and nitrogen, which is used to make up the flue gas that we're going to be using in our plant. It enters the right-hand absorber column here and begins to rise up from the bottom. As the gas rises up the tower, the MEA solution flows down from the top. Along the way, the solution passes over these metal structures called packing that slows the liquid down and spreads it out, maximizing the surface area in which the gas can react with the MEA. By the time the gas stream reaches the top of the column, the CO2 has completely reacted with the MEA. The now CO2-rich amine solution is collected from here and is pumped up to the top of the stripper tower. From there it flows down, passing through these clumps of metal packing, which allow the solution to heat efficiently. The heating is provided by the reboiler, where steam is used to heat the liquid to 110 degrees Celsius. The hot MEA solution siphons back into the stripper column. The CO2 vapour then passes up the stripper column to here, where it passes through the condenser. Any MEA solution droplets are condensed, leaving the CO2 as a gas to be collected. The now lean MEA solution leaves through the bottom of the stripper column and is then returned to the start of the cycle.